hi guys welcome back to yet another video it's mix from the next creation if it's your first time coming across the channel consider subscribing by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell you'll be updated whenever we upload a new video in today's video we are going to look at the skills that are needed for you to be what we call a customer service agent or a check-in agent what are the skills that you need to have what are the skills remember we talked about the responsibility in another video we talked about the roles. We talked about the check-in agent as an, an, an individual. What are the skills that will enable you be suitable for that position or to help you move on with your role in a very good and a very orderly and in a very active way? One of them, as we try to know that the majority of the roles of a sales check-in agent or what you call a customer, uh, customer service agent or passenger as agent or what you call nah, you need most of them are rotating around what you call dealing with the direct contact with the customer you deal directly with the contact imagine a person is coming hello can you help me direct where or direct me where gate number two is you are dealing directly with that person so what are those skills that you need to have one communication skills is very important you need to know how to communicate with a smile you need to articulate those words rightly such as the customer can understand you the international language that you need to know to speak at least speak to that customer let him move let her or her let her or him move from away from you at least satisfied with what you've told that person remember you always need to be keep you always be uh need to be updated whatever uh of what is going on then also another skill is the ability to stay calm under pressure that is one of the skills that you need to have you need to stay calm under pressure there is time where we can have unruly customers. We may have a time where things are not right, right, but you have to keep on smiling. You have to keep on going. So even if the pressure mounts beyond your control, you need to be down. You need to know how to handle that pressure to continue serving the customers. Another one is the problem solving skills. You should have those problem solving skills as a check-in agent or what you call a service customer agent. Yes, something may happen at that very time. You need to have a solution. Look at this unruly passenger who is asking you very many questions. Try to be a very good listener. Don't exchange verbal words. Try to be a good listener. Give this person options solve the problem for that person even if you cannot solve the problem for that time you have your supervisor even if that time the supervisor is not around yet to help you out you can give this person options that hi sir can you have this can we think we can have this don't you think we can have this then that is what you call a problem solving skill then something that we need to know another skill is what you call the it skills you should have what you call the it skills when we are talking about the IT skills we are talking about, you should know how to use the computer. It's quite very important. At least you have the basics of how to use the computer. They are part of the skills that you need to have. Because remember, you are going to be working closely with these kind of gadgets around with you to enable to facilitate your work. So you need to have those basic skills or those basic knowledge of how to use uh, uh, the computers or what you call the IT then also the last one is what you call the organization skill which is quite very important as a check-in agent as a customer service agent you should be partially organized you should have an organized organization itself does not mean handling the document but also it starts with you as the person how you present yourself how you present yourself how you smile how you respond to people how you work with the team is part of the organization how you arrange your workstation how you speak to your superiors how you speak to your supervisors how you reply it is part of what you call the organization um, skills so it is part of those that you need to have in one way or the other hope i've tried to share something for you by the way Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Remember, we are looking at a road to 4,000 subscribers. It is only your support, guys. Support this channel. 
by subscribing to this channel. By the way, don't forget to keep drop a comment in the comment section. I always be very important. I always very happy to get back to you as soon as possible. And if it's your first uh, time coming up to this channel, consider supporting this channel. Subscribe to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. You will always be updated whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation TV.